Hey, beautiful people. It's your girl T and I'm back. Yes, I'm back. So I want to say welcome to all of the new uh, subscribers, the people who just stopped by to take a visit. And I also want to say hello and thank you to those who have subscribed and are currently watching as well. Today or tonight, whenever you're watching this, um, we're going to get into um, some books. I have a huge stack of books that uh, I hauled and some were given to me as gifts. And we're going to go see what I got. All right. So first book, um, this one I hauled from Amazon. And it was only uh, $3. So it's spiral bound, and this just says inspirational coloring for mom, meaningful me time, biblical inspiration, delightful, distressing, de-stressing, sorry. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to do complete flips, but just to give you an idea of what's in here, um, it's got some nice images. It's nice paper. It's one-sided. It's kind of thick paper. I like that it's spiral bound at the top. And, um, you know, you've got some, I'm not really big on, you know, coloring, um, uh, what do I want to say? I can't get it out. <laughs> big on coloring words. Um, but you know, if there's pictures and I can add something really quick, it's fine. All right. So that one is inspirational coloring for mom, meaningful me time, biblical inspiration, delightful de-stressing. The next one I picked up was this, Creative Haven, Beautiful Country Scenes Coloring Book. Please do not think this is a Creative Haven book, a real Creative Haven book. You see the difference here? Well, I didn't pay attention when I bought, when I purchased this book. Um, I was just looking at the pictures on the front of the book, and then I looked at the pictures on the back. Beautiful, right? Just gorgeous pictures here. Unfortunately, this is not what it looks like. This is not very good, a very good book at all. Um, a lot of the pictures are cut off. Um, you can tell these are stock photos. Um, so I was not happy with that. So I contacted Amazon and they told me to, to keep the book, get rid of it, whatever. And they issued a refund. So this one will probably be given to a kid or something or donate it, um, you know, to a home or something. Um, so I'm not going to keep that one, but I thought I'd share it with you guys. Do not get that book unless you like what you saw. <laughs> All right. The next thing I picked up was, um, creative Haven still life color by number. I'm really getting into color by numbers right now. So, um, I don't know if many of you guys knew that, um, creative Haven or Dover publications is having this huge sale on their website. For Mother's Day, where it was $20 off of $50 and free shipping. So, of course, I had to indulge in the color by number um, books because they were on my wish list for a very long time. But I was trying to wait to see if they would go on sale. Um, no, <laughs> not until they had this sale. So, um, these books typically run $10 each, and I paid way less than that with a deal. So, this one's Still Life, color by number. Um, it's not a um, um, a difficult color by number book. It's got big, big spaces. Pretty simple um, to color. Okay, this one is by his name is in the front. Let's see, where's it? Oh, here it is. This is by Diego Jordan Pereira. Okay, so that's still life color by number. I picked up ugly holiday sweaters because I do not have this book and I thought it was so cute um, just to have for Christmas time. Add this to my Christmas collection. Just show you guys a couple pictures. Anything that you want to see a full flip through of, just let me know down in the comment section. And that is the back of the book. And let's see, I didn't tell you guys who this one's by. Ellen Christensen Craft is the illustrator of that one. All right. The next one I have is Country Gardens Coloring Book. And this is, of course, a Teresa Goodridge book. And I like 
her art. I've actually completed one of her books and you guys can find that in the list of videos I have on my channel. And uh, again, this is Country Gardens by Teresa Goodrich. The next one is Floral Tattoo Designs by Eric Su Sayuda. You guys hear that noise? It's rain, we're having a storm. Okay, so these are tattoos. Very nice, big open spaces if you want to try uh, practicing at shading. So that's floral tattoo designs. Okay, the next one I picked up was Winter Wonderland. And this is also a Teresa Goodrich book. This one was published in 2016, so it's um, some of her earlier uh, work. Still pretty nice. Another one to add to my Christmas coloring collection. Okay, Winter Wonderland. Sorry for, for any background noise. All right, the next one I have is Fantastical Dragons. And this one is by Erin Pocock. This is very nice dragon book. I don't have very many dragon books except for um, the books I have by Molly Harrison. She's got dragons in her book, but this one's specifically about dragons. So thought I'd pick that up. It's a really nice dragon. I really like that one a lot. Very nice. Fantastical Dragons by Erin Pocock. The next one was Magnificent Tiffany Windows coloring book rendered by Marty Noble. But of course, y'all know, these are, um, what I like about this book is it's actually the um, actual pictures of actual, the actual windows or replicas of the windows that Lewis Comfort Tiffany um, created. I'm not gonna do a complete flip through, but we can show you some. And over on this left side, um, you'll see that it tells you the name of the actual window in the back. So if you want to go look it up, to copy it or color it the same exact way it looks in real life, then you could do that. Very, very nice. I love Tiffany, Mr. Tiffany. All right, magnificent Tiffany windows. The next one I picked up was Futuristic Worlds by Josh Carrington. And you all know I like weird, quirky, interesting type of art. So this one had to go into the cart because it looked very cool on the cover. So I was like, wow, I bet you that has some cool stuff in it. And it is very nice. I really like this book. Don't know why I missed out on this one because I think this one was, um, yeah, 2017, this one was um, actually published. So it's been out for a couple of years. Very nice. Futuristic Worlds by Josh Carrington. The next one. Creative Haven Entangled Christmas. And this is by Angela Porter. or I'll say Dr. Porter. Um, and this is some nice Christmas coloring again. If you don't like a very intricate type of coloring, you may not want this book. But you don't have to always color everything. I, I say it in like all the videos, almost all the videos that show busy pictures. You don't have to color each and every little section. You can make it your own. All right, so that's Chris, Entangled Christmas by Angela Porter. All right, let's take a miniature break from Creative Haven. And let's look at this mystery colors. Mystery Colors, Color by Number, and Discover the Magic, illustrated by Joe Bartos. Well, this is not the actual magazine, guys. This is an actual book. It's bound. It's not the magazine, Mystery Colors. I saw this on Amazon and was like, ooh, got to have it. There is Mr. Bartos right there. So he has designed and illustrated for a variety of media outlets, including Disney, the New York Times, the Discovery Channel, and Scholastic. 
So um, I'll let you guys peek at that. That's it. <laughs> but so this is just like the original Mystery Colors magazine. However, it's in book format. Um, I'm going to do a complete flip through of this book probably. Um, I mean, there's not much you can really see. Um, but just to give you some details about the paper and all of that. So Mystery Colors. Um, illustrated by Joe Bartos. Back to Creative Haven. All right. This is a newer one. Um, this is By the Sea. This is a George Tufexis um, color by number. He has more difficult color by number. So if you don't like uh, intricate areas to color, then you do not want to pick up a George Tufexis color by number. It's very detailed, very intricate um, spaces, small spaces, and the numbers are small. But this is got some really nice pictures. Um, uh, so yes, by the sea, by George Tufexis. Another one by George Tufexis um, is birds, color by number. And I think I already showed this in my last haul, um, but this came because I had to do an exchange because I had a duplicate. So. My husband had bought me that for Mother's Day, and um, um, I decided to return that one because it would have been easier and pick something else. So that's birds, color by number, and this is also a George Tufexis um, color by number. All right, then we have women and flowers. Oh, let's, we're going out of order on that, sorry. Women and Flowers, number one, coloring book. This is by Octopus Sirius. This is a um, Shutterstock book because back here it tells us that the images used under license from Shutterstock. I don't really like that, but um, some of the images in here are really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep these. I'll show you guys a couple of those images. And this will just give me practice on coloring skin. So, you guys may hear Christian get up, coming out, crying or something because he does not like storms. And it sounds like thunder is trying to roll in. All right, so that is Women and Flowers, number one. Then I got Women and Flowers, number two. These are both um, Amazon finds, okay? They're not very expensive. I think they were like $4.99 or $3.99. Um, I wish I would have known they were Shutterstock before I bought it. Uh, I think I like the first book more than I like this second one. But again, it's practice. I can do practice on skin um, because I really want to get better at it. And I don't want to practice in a book that I really love. So this will help me out. All right. So that's Women and Flowers number two. Next, I have Best Dressed Pets by Marjorie Sarnot. This is a Creative Haven book. These are some precious pictures of dogs and cats dressed up like people and in different costumes. So um, I thought that was so cute. And what's what picture I really bought this for was this. <laughs> I love this picture. It's so cute. He is so cute. Um, so it's in here somewhere. So that'll probably be the first picture I color in the book. So again, that's Best Dressed Pets by Marjorie Sarnot. Next we have 50 Summertime Miniatures by Camelia Angelkova. <clears throat> I like her books because you don't get dupes. Duplicate pictures. They're all different pictures. Um, and they're cute, easy to color, cuteness, and inexpensive. So you can, I think, get these for under $6 uh, on Amazon. All right. The next book is Dragonfly Coloring Book by Coloring Book Cafe. And this is a dragonfly book. And I got this so that I can practice the wings. Shh, 
a recording sign. Okay, so that is, sorry y'all, I told you. Uh, Dragonfly Coloring Book by Coloring Book Cafe. Okay, next we have, this was a birthday gift uh, from my mom. She gave me, um, I picked it out. She gave me an Amazon gift card and I used it to buy this. Um, Grayscale Coloring Book, Alice in Wonderland by Jade Summer. And this is a cute book. Well, one thing I noticed about this Grayscale book uh, compared to the other Grayscale books I've seen by Jade Summer is it's very light. It's not as dark as the other books uh, as far as the Grayscale is concerned. So I don't know if that is because the ink was running out or what. So I'm not going to I'm not going to mess with it too much. I'll just keep it. But if I see someone do a flip through and theirs looks darker, then uh, probably will contact Amazon about that. All right. So that's Grayscale Coloring Book, Alice in Wonderland by Jade Summer. The next one is uh, Fairies, Grayscale Coloring Book. This is also one that my mother paid for, <laughs> essentially. Um, and see how the grayscale is darker? And even the black page is darker. It's like jet black, where the other one's like a, like a like a dark, dark gray, not black. So I'm not sure if that's done intentionally or not. All right, but this is a very, very nice book. And I don't know if I've shown that to you guys already. If I did, forgive me. All right, so that is Fairies by Jade Summer. The next one is City Sights. Um, this is a George Tufex's color by number. I've already done one page. I'll show you guys that in completed pages. But again, this is very intricate. So if this is not something you like, then I will not recommend um, this if you have issues with vision and seeing tiny numbers and things. All right, so that's City Sights by George Tufex's. The next one I have is Mythical Mermaids. Mosaic Color by Number, Coloring Book for Adults, Enchanted Fantasy Women Under the Ocean by Color Questopia. This is my first Color Questopia book. I did do a page already, but I will share that later um, in my completed pages video. Um, but yes, I love mermaids and I want more color by number, so I decided to pick this one up. It's really easy and really fun. And I did something special in mine, not so special, but I did something, um, I didn't leave the lines white or anything, but you'll see that when I do my completed pages. And again, that is Mythical Mermaids by Color Questopia. The next one I picked up was American Landscapes Color by Number. This is by Diego Jordan, Jordan Piera. And, um... This is also color by number. And some of these are very intricate and some are detailed. Um, very easy. I did one. It was very nice, very fun. Um, so yes, I would recommend this to someone who wants to try color by number. Definitely. Very nice. Again, that's American Landscapes, color by number by Diego Jordan Pierra. Pereira. Sorry. All right, the next one I have is Floral Design Color by Number, and this is by Jessica Mazurkiewicz. I can't say her last name. I'm sorry. Um, but this one I also colored a page in. This is also an easy one that you can color in. Um, has big spaces if you want to try color by number. All flowers, and I did do one page. All right, so that's floral design, color by number. The next one we have, the last um, Creative Haven book I picked up was Glorious Gardens, color by number by George Tufexis. And again, I did color one in this one <laughs> as well. I couldn't wait, guys. I'm, I'm like really into doing these right now. Um, very intricate. And um, I had to pull out fine liners and some um, Stabilo kind of, you know, Tiny tip, skinny tip, small tip pens to do my page. But it turned out really cute. So 
All right, that's Glorious Gardens, Color by Number by George Tufexis. We have two more books and we'll be all done here, ladies and gents. The next book that I received, this was a gift from the lovely Lavelia from Lavelia's Coloring. I've already uploaded a flip through of this one, but I just wanted to, you know, show you that this is part of my haul slash happy mail. Um, again, thank you so much, Lavelia. I love, love, love this book. All right, so that is Vintage My Room by, I think it's, na uh, the name is Lee, Lee Jung, Hyung, Hyung, Hung. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce it. Lee Jung Hung, something like that. All right, and the last book I received, and I waited months, <laughs> I literally months, I waited so long. I ordered this in March, beginning of March, and I just got it this week. And today is May 22nd. So it took a couple months. I didn't think it was ever going to get here. And this is Disney Vitrales. And many of you have already seen, um, you know, probably flip throughs of this book. Basically, it's like stained glass or mosaic, whatever you want to say, of Disney. And I was really, really excited about getting this book. I'm so happy it's here. I'll let you guys see a few pages. If you want to see a complete flip through, let me know. Um, look at this. It's trying to come. Well, it's just laying flat. I hope it's not trying to come apart. That would not be nice. Um, no, it's not coming apart. It's just the glue. And um, But this is a really nice book, y'all. I'm so happy it's finally here. All right, and that is it, y'all. That was a, a lot of books. And they came in slowly but surely, but they got here. So now, you know, of course, I had to show you guys what I picked up. And I um, hope you guys are enjoying your time with your families. And, um, you know, if you get, get to work from home, I hope it's not stressful. Those who, who are not working, um, I pray that everything works out for you and that your money needs are not <clears throat> that your financial issues that you have don't overwhelm overwhelm you too much and um you're certainly going to be in my thoughts and prayers until next time y'all take care